All right, so today I am out with Nate on our last flight. Last flight. Of what? My instructor rating. Instructor rating. You're going to be an instructor. Yes, sir. Wow. So tomorrow Nate's got his um, check ride or his flight test for his uh, instructor rating. And we've been out uh, over the last, I don't know, two, three months. We've been dipping away at your instructor rating. And uh, we're coming down to the last flight here. So today's plan is to go over a few more autos. I'm going to do a few engine failures in the hover. Do some advanced takeoffs and landings. And the interesting thing is a lot of the videos that uh, you've seen in the past have been obviously instructional videos where myself or whoever else is instructing a student. Today it's a little bit of a different take on that. Today Nate is the instructor and he's instructing me how to fly a helicopter. That's why I'm in this seat near that one. That's why I'm in this seat. So um, you have to kind of do that shift in your head because typically it's the other way around. But uh, today Nate's just bringing us to the infield here and now he's going to teach me how to do an engine failure in the hover. All right, so we'll set down and I'll walk through what exactly we're going to do here. Great. All right, so in just a minute, I'm going to demonstrate an engine failure in the hover for you. Okay. Engine failures in the hover, like we talked about in the classroom, very practical exercise that we need to be proficient at in case we have an engine failure in a hovering state, just like we practice auto rotations. Right. So when we practice this exercise, it'll begin with me rolling the throttle off, simulating us losing our engine. I'll count that down. Three, two, one. Engine failure in the hover. Yep. Um, when we do that, we're going to immediately lose the torque effect from the engine. Because of that, we're going to have to push a lot of left pedal. We're going to uh, counteract that loss in torque by pushing the left pedal. Helicopter is going to start to sink. As we start to sink, we're going to gently pull that collective, pulling all the way to the ground, cushioning our landing. We're going to use our cyclic to eliminate any drift. The Capri tends to drift a little bit to the right, so a little bit of left cyclic is uh, what we'll need. When uh, The way we'll think about this exercise is I'll count down engine failure in the hover. Three, two, one. And what should go through your head is left pedal and pull. We're not going to move that collective until we feel the helicopter settle yep. and start that sink. Then we'll Australia gently pull, I'm using all of that Australia collective right to the ground. Not using it all before we hit the ground, but slowly yeah, cushioning the pedal. Okay. So, I'll Let's demonstrate and raise. All right. I'll demonstrate one or two of them for you. Sounds good. So, lights are all off, rotors in the green, T's and T's are on the green, fuel is sufficient, switches all up, car beat, auto, and friction is off. Excellent. No one around, take up into that hover. All right. So we'll get up into a nice stable hover. I'm going to check again. It feels like we're nice and into wind, but we will confirm that with the wind sock that we've got right over here, out our left window, facing right and into wind. And we will do an engine failure in the hover in three, two, one. Pedal and pull. Oh. So what happened nice there? Soft. Yeah, nice and soft. I didn't roll the throttle all the way off, so I felt the correlator try to kick back in as I raised that collective. Yeah. But that was that little bit of a twitch. Yeah, so make sure you're starting right here. Then as you roll, you have all that way to roll off. Absolutely. Yeah. It can be helpful to open your door just on the string as well. Yeah, totally. Gives you that range of motion as you roll your hand around. Sure, my big fat wrists get in the way. <laughs> the big strong wrists. <laughs> Some may say that. I don't. <laughs> All right. So on this one, we watched that one with your control, your hands off the controls. I want you to follow along on controls with me. Okay. Remember, you can put your feet on the pedals. Just be light on the pedals. I want you feeling the range of motion. Okay. I don't want you actually pushing any pressure on those pedals okay. that would affect me. Uh, in my ability to do the exercise. All right, sounds good. Again, lights are all off, rotors in the green, fuel is sufficient, T's and P's are all in the green, switches are all up, our heat is set to auto, and our friction is still off. It is.
That's better with the door open for sure. So you can go ahead and feel along on the controls. All right, I'm on the controls. Nice and light. Nice and light. We're gonna have an engine failure in the hover. In three, two, one. Left pedal and pull. Not a great one there. I had more collective left to pull at the end. Okay. Yeah. So a little bit earlier on the pedal. Yep. And then a little bit later on the collective probably. Yeah. Getting nervous with the camera on. <laughs> a lot of it's pressure. It's really nerve wracking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and demonstrate one more good one with you on the controls before I let you do yeah, one on your own. Okay. Perfect. Lights are all off. Road is in the green. P's and P's are in the green. Uh, fuel is efficient. Switch is all up. Car speed is auto. Friction off. Back in the wind. Nice and steady. In the hover. Okay, following along, I'm bite on along. the controls. I'm gonna have an engine failure in the hover in three, two, one. Left pedal and pull. Uh, that was nice. Much better there. Yeah. Eliminated nice that drift. Straight. Nose stayed nice and straight, and we had collective to pull all the way to the ground. Yeah. All right. Can I try one? Absolutely. Oh, I'm excited. I've got the throttle. Roll it up for you. Do those pre-takeoff checks for me. All right. Take it up into the hover, and then I'll count it down. Lights are all out. Rotors in the green. Feels good. T's and P's are all green. Switches are all up. Car beat is auto, and our friction is off. Cool. All right, eyes outside. I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't be. You got it. See. Nice. Do you right. feel comfortable steady in the hover? Yeah, feel pretty good in the hover. Just to be clear, you're doing throttle. Yep, I have the throttle. And I'm doing the exercise. Yep, okay. I'm close on the controls, but you have controls. Okay, sounds good. Right. Nice and steady. Engine failure in the hover in three, two, one. Left pedal and pull. All right, so really nice on the pull. Okay. We were very cushioned in the landing. We could do a little bit more pedal. Yeah, we had that. quite a bit of uh, drift. We started facing the tanker base. Now we're facing Cascade of almost 45 degrees. degrees almost, yeah. But that being said, it was safe. We're on the ground. Yeah. Everything felt nice. The helicopter's not damaged. We're not hurt. So yeah. in all reality, it was a perfectly safe one. We're just trying to make it more perfect. Okay. So the more left pedal initially. More left pedal. And maybe, I think I drifted a little bit yeah, too. Yeah, so right? a little bit of left cyclic okay. will help that too. Collective was really good though. Okay. Awesome. So our lights are all out. Rotors in the green. Feels still good. T's and P's are green. Switches up. Carpet auto. Friction is off. Try this again, but a little bit better. Charlie, name of Charlie. The departing traffic will be straight out. Clear touch and go. We're on a zero one. Charlie, clear touch and go zero one. All right, we'll come back face into wind. Just like that. All right. Feels steady in the hover. Yeah, feel pretty good. And you're on the controls. I have the throttle. Do an engine failure in the hover. In three, two, one. Left pedal. Nice and pull. Beautiful. Nose did not drift at all. Nice. Collective was pulled smoothly all the way through until we touched the ground. Very, very nice. Good instructing. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Very clear. <laughs> Awesome. All right, so well, um, we said we want to do some uh, advanced takeoffs into circuit for autos. Yeah, yeah. So we'll uh, start with a no, uh, probably no hover. Yeah, yeah, no hover. Just given where we are right now, we don't have a ton of room to play with a minimum power departure. Yeah. So we'll do a no hover takeoff. Um, We've talked in the classroom about why we would use a no hover takeoff. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, some for, of the reasons why? for whiteout or brownout conditions, right. where we're going to have our downwash is going to. Yeah, up so stuff. we don't want to remain in a situation where there's no blowing snow, blowing dust, and we can't see. So right. we're going to get away from that ground as quickly as possible. 
So it's going to be a smooth pull on that collective, but it's going to be a steady pull, trying to get away from that ground as quickly as possible. Okay. Once we're about 15 to 20 feet above the ground, we're going to start that push forward. It's going to be a normal departure profile. Same procedures follow. If we have to pull into that yellow to get up away from the ground, we want to make sure that we are giving that power back out of the yellow before we hit 30 knots. Right. Yeah. Right? Sounds good. Everything clear there? Everything clear. And then... I think you remember you saying something in the classroom about checking for traffic on the yes, ground, right? Yes, I was going to get to that next. Yeah. So we're, if we're doing a cover like that where we're just going straight up, we're not going to do a traffic check low to the ground right? because we'll be in downwatch. We won't be able to see anything anyway. So the way that we do this is we open our door and we stick our heads outside. I see 144 behind us, but he's going away from us. Cool. I've got nothing on my side. Okay. And close those doors back up. We're outside of the zone. This is where we'd make our radio call, letting people know what's going on. In this case, we're going to ask Tower for an infield circuit up to 1,000 feet, because we're going to do an auto on this one as well. Awesome. So do you want me to do that? Or you, you can go ahead and make that okay. call. Avatar Tower, helicopter Cabri G2, Golf Echo Tango India, requesting a 1,000 foot infield circuit. Echo Tango India, 1,000 foot circuit approved. Echo Tango India. Awesome. So I'll have you follow along on controls here. Yeah. And Tower, Charlie, 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 Charlie. And it's just going to be. Lights are all out, rotors are green. Yep. Yeah. Rotors are good, yep. TPs are green, switches up, carbide auto, friction is off. Beautiful. Awesome. They'll all clear around. Got one Cessna in the circuit over there, no one else. And we're just going to start that pull, and we're going to pull, 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 up, 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 and start to push. We did pull into the yellow, but we're okay. We'll make sure that we get that back before we hit 30 knots. There it is. Giving the power back. Yeah, it didn't feel any, not, it wasn't too much more rush than a normal takeoff. Nope. Just instead of coming into a hover, we just kept we going We keep up. that climb going. Yep. Okay. And it is going to require more power than we would in a typical hover because we're remaining in ground effect for that normal hover. Right. We're immediately getting out of ground effect, which is why we often pull in that yellow. Okay. Okay. Good. So you're going to demonstrate a auto rotation to me now. I am. Okay. Yeah. So we've done a few of these before. Yep. Um, we're going to go through our hazel checks here soon. Do you remember what our hazel checks are? Hazel was height. Uh, is sufficient. We're, we're almost getting there now. Yep. A is for area. Our area is clear. Where is that 44? Oh, he's over there. He's yep. fine. We got tons of room with him. Uh, security. So cabin secure. We don't yeah, have that's anything. a really critical one. We want to make sure there's nothing going to be in the way of our flight controls. Yeah, looks good. And then we're uh, checking. Engine gauges is free. Everything is in the green. And then L was looking out for traffic. And I see the 144 there, the Cessna just taking off, but nothing in the area where we're going. Perfect. So we're going to try and aim for that same spot that we just went to. Okay. Went through all of our hazard checks here. We're coming up on 1,000 feet. And so this is a power recovery, right? Right. So we're going to do a power recovery here. I will roll on the throttle, and we'll end up in a nice hover, ideally, right above the ground. Okay, but you're doing the whole thing, I'm just going to watch you on this one? Yep, exactly. Good. Charlie, then a Charlie clip to land. We will enter in uh, Charlie, three, two, one. Charlie, then a Charlie clip touch and go around with zero one. Charlie, Charlie, correct it. Clear touch and go zero one. Rotor, motor, Charlie, 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 Gonna start three that zero, flare. Zero, and climb 3,500. Zero golf November. And roll on the throttle. Wasn't a perfect one. Yeah, so we can get that throttle on just a bit sooner. A bit sooner, okay. Then we'll get a match the needles up in the green. Just means less torque when you pull that collective. Right, because well. in red there they matched in a lower yellow. Yeah. That's why we had that bit. Of yaw there at the end. Exactly. Nice auto though. Beautiful height for flare. Uh, rolled out of it nicely at a good height. Yeah, I think I could have pushed forward 
leveled out a little bit more before I did uh, the roll, the collective pull. But yeah. other than that, it felt okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. This We're time, can I ride with you? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. We're going to backtrack here just a bit, and I'll let you do a uh, no-hover takeoff here. You can do that all by yourself. Okay. And then you can ride along with the auto. Sounds good. So we're going to simulate the whole thing just like we did last time. And I come and land. Going to traffic check out the door. Going to call tower. And we're going to go. Yep. All right. So I see the 44 back there, but he's staying clear. Great. All right. After tower, helicopter, cabri G2, Golf Echo Tango India, requesting 1,000 foot infill circuit. Echo Tango India, the 1,000 foot infill circuit approved. Traffic, Cessna 172, just departed runway 01, climbing to 1,200 feet for their circuit. All right, we'll watch uh, for the traffic, and we'll uh, arrange our, tra our flight behind them. All right, lights are all out, rotors in the green, feels good, T's and P's are green, which is all up, car P, auto, and friction is off. on. Keep him in sight. That's him there. Yep. Good. One more to look here. I uh, see the 44 on the ground, so that's all clear. Cool. Excellent. All right. So a nice, smooth pull, continue that climb, 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 out of ground effect. I'm continuing to climb, we're continuing climbing, to climb. Climbing, 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 climbing. And slow push. Slow push. Give that and power back. Power to Nicely below done. 90. Still got him in sight. Yeah, there he is. Oh, we have tons of clearance there. And tower, Charlie and Charlie's on a right down the wind for a full stop on zero one. Charlie name Charlie, clear to land room with zero one. Charlie and Charlie, clear to land zero one. One seven two, golf pop of Robert Charlie, I have to turn. Uh, Robert Charlie's over Arnold, information kilo, request inbound. Pop of Robert Charlie, runway zero one, cleared Arnold arrival. Pop Robert Charlie. All right. So, our height is coming up on becoming efficient. We'll check it one last time before we enter. Looking back at the spot area is clear that 66 is still there. Yep. Um, cabin is all secure. Engine lights are all off. Rotors in the green, T's in the green. The switch is all up. The car is set to auto. Looking out for any other traffic. Right, let's uh, target the, s the center of the figure eight. Center of the figure eight. Great. A slightly different entry point. Okay. A little bit earlier here, probably. Right three, two, one. Collective down, throttle goes off. Rotor, motor, airspeed, trim. 